This is a demonstration of how to transform 30 Word documents using a single XSLT file. So, first of all, I select the input folder containing the Word documents, and what I need to do is to put in a pattern that will ensure that I'm only uh, transforming Word documents. So, let's put in something like that. So, there we go. So, that's just the docx files. Uh, what I now need to do is to have a look at the uncompressed entries so I can click uncompressed files. That doesn't actually uncompress the files but it allows me to view them, um, view their directory structure so that I can quickly see what files within those I need to actually view. So if I qu quickly click on view here, let's go to a single pane and have a look down through see there are a number of XML files within a single uh, Word document. Um, this folder panel here shows Word documents um, in bright green as kind of like the top level folder and then the actual zip structure within the docx file is shown as uh, subfolders here. So what we can do then is we're just interested actually in the document.xml files but um, we need to put in a special pattern to to tell the filter that it's um, compressed entries that we're interested in filtering so what we do is uh, prefix the pattern with a hash symbol so now I can type document.xml and there we have it um, what I'll do is actually minimize this list because obviously they're, they're all the same name so it's not really going to help me um, but I can actually if I so that allows me to quickly navigate through all of the documents because they're shown as folders so now what I can do is switch to our view and let's have a look actually at the document so let's go to if we go to HTML what happens there is that's actually hosting a session of Word so um, we get to see our fully rendered Word because this is actually the Word application so you need to have that installed on your machine for this to to uh, preview to work the transform will work fine without because you're just using an XLT processor for that so we've minimized the ribbon um, and in fact what the transform is going to be doing is it's going to be changing this subtitle here so let's go and make sure that we've got the right XSLT selected which we have and now all we need to do is um, bring up the control panel and press start and you'll see that we've actually got one failure case and we I know exactly what's gone on there um, and that's because um, this document that's open means that Word has actually got a lock on this document so I need to click on close here and then run that again okay and now we've got no failures and this is showing the input file and so there's the um, subheading a graphical tool for bulk XML analysis but if we click on the output here um, what that has done is it shows us that we've actually got to go one stage further because the output is actually just an uncompressed XML file so in order to see um, the output rendered as a Word document we have to reinsert it back into a copy of the Word document and that's what export does for us but before we export we have to press zip inject to ensure that the the output file is injected into the copy and then we click export And so there you can see the modified output now with the inserted document.xml file, but one that's been changed. And you can see that the subheading is different. 
um, and we can just switch back to input and that, so that's the input so that's a good method for actually just comparing your input and output um, there is only one viewer for um, Word documents uh, you can view also PowerPoint and Excel uh, documents within Coherent Web provided you have those applications installed on your local machine um, what we can do is we can have a look at the XML equivalent of the Word document in the associated pane but we can't look at two documents side by side that's a restriction on the way the Word application is actually hosted um, we can have a look and see what has actually happened in terms of the export so if we look at have a look at the let's go back to an XML view here and let's click results so that shows us a summary of let's bring our tree view back this shows us a summary of the whole transform including that export so just to pick one of those documents we can see that uh, that was the uh, input entry that was actually um, processed and the actual name of the uh, Word document itself is the, the text node here and then we can see that temporarily when it was in the output folder it was given a temporary uh, unique name and then we can see that there was a zip export which effectively is that zip entry a uh, zip inject where that document.xml file was inserted back to that location inside that zip file so that is shown for each one of the 30 word documents that we transformed and you can see that um, the the fails element is actually empty but that would actually contain entries for any failed documents and at the top here we've got the summary that shows what the transform was the fact that the, the transform rate was at 50 transactions per second it would be a lot higher um, on a sort of normal desktop this is a laptop machine which is also loaded because of this um, screencasting software okay that concludes this uh, basic demonstration of transforming 30 word documents with a single XSLT file